Oh, cute. They're talking to a robot without calling it names. That's nice. Uh, three years ago, my teammates and I set towards a goal to build an AI that could strategically out-negotiate humans in natural language uh, in diplomacy. Today, I'm excited to share our science paper showing we've succeeded. They've succeeded. Uh, first aid to achieve human level performance in diplomacy, a strategic a strategy game which requires building trust, negotiating, and cooperating with multiple players. Diplomacy is a seven player game described as a mix of risk, poker, and survivor. It was John F. Kennedy, who's that guy? John F. Kennedy's favorite game. And uh, Demis Hasabis is a former champion in it, who just so happens to work at DeepMind. Okay. It's been a decades-old, seemingly impossible grand challenge for AI. Why? Yeah, well, what was JFK's ELO, okay? JFK was probably hard-stuck iron in diplomacy. F***ing pleb, dude. Diplomacy is about building trust in an environment that encourages players not to trust anyone. All players act simultaneously after non-binding private negotiations to succeed. You must account for the risk that players might lie and that players might doubt your honesty. For the season, an ability to reason about the belief, goals, and intentions of others and the ability to persuade and build relationships through dialogue are necessary skills in diplomacy. If even a few years ago, it would have been unthinkable for an AI to do this. In recent years, language models have made incredible progress in their ability to imitate human-like dialogue, but success in diplomacy requires going beyond imitating dialogue one token at a time. It requires strategic reasoning, dude. Okay, okay. Our agent, Cicero. Isn't that like a movie? Couples a dialogue uh, module with strategic reasoning engine. Each turn Cicero models the other player's policies based on the game state and shared dialogue. It forms a plan and the dialogue mod uh, module generates messages conditional on the plan. Okay. Ah, oh, so it looks at the, the board and then given the board, it responds with things based around their their win condition. I'm amazed at how people do this shit. That's what we on the, do on this stream. And this is all we do, and this is what it looks like. It looks like these 12 lines of code. <laughs> Boom, AI. <laughs> Y'all were so pressed on AI. Boom. But RL is different when, while well, the whole interacting with the game UI. But it's state by state. It's not real time. Right? Like when you're talking about, uh, when you're talking about reinforcement learning models, you're talking still state by state interactions. This is still a state by state interaction. Like it's not taking into account real time or any like dynamic environment changing situations. It still goes one turn to the next turn, right? Like any kind of game like this, like Tower, like Town of Salem, uh, Werewolf, any mafia game, they're still all turn-based, right? So modeling them turn by turn is really just modeling pre and post conditions of what ended up happening in between. And in this case, if they've broken down the game into essentially two models, like a pre and post state simulation, and then, like, dialogue that they uh, are able to tune, given, like, closer to win condition or, or further away from win condition, then this, this ends up being, like, you know, any other classifier ensembled model. So I don't know. I, I, it is impressive to see uh, something that's, that has such a large uh, array of answers. But the responses themselves shouldn't be considered the answer. The responses themselves, uh, given the state of, like, natural language engines at this point, or generative text engines, the language itself, I don't think is, uh, like, this was probably mind-blowing, like, a year or so ago. Uh, but we do gen tech stuff on this stream all the time, and I feel like this part of it might be the easiest part. The hardest part is taking this... Converting it into game value. 
and then shoving it back in. Like, that's where it's like, I wonder what the fuck that's all about. Like, Broken Down, I feel like this is pretty, this is a pretty fun project. I feel like a lot of it's just data tagging and cleaning. Over 40 diplomacy games with 82 human players involving uh, 52,000, over 52,000 messages, over 72 hours of gameplay, Cicero achieved more than double the average score of the other players in ranked. Uh, in the top 10% of players, this is the first ever human level AI for diplomacy. Uh, 40 games, so they played 40 games, and then they had 82 different people playing 40 games, right? Because it's seven, it's a seven player game. I mean, that sounds very impressive. That sounds good. It sounds like the model is working. Cicero is not perfect. It sometimes generates inconsistent dialogue and makes mistakes. In the example below where Cicero is playing as Austria, the agent contradicts its first message, first message asking Italy to move Venice. Fortunately, Cicero, human mistakes are... Humans make mistakes, too. That's what I'm planning. I'm not a fan of the move to Venice. They did it just... You suggested I move to Venice. Do you want to support to AG in this turn? And yes, Venice will hold. In that case, we're all good. And yes, please. Oh, cute. They're talking to a robot without calling it names. That's nice. Uh, we've also partnered with Webbed, webdiplomacy.net to make training data available to research as well. That's great. Uh, this project has brought together researchers from gaming theory, reinforcement learning, and natural language processing. We've all learned so much from each other. Man, this is like exactly me, right? Like my dissertation was game theory and, and social cognitive neuro. I worked in some NLP stuff. Reinforcement learning is my job now. I guess not anymore. It's someone else's job. I don't even do anything with RL. I just, I just say, hey, would this be a good problem for reinforcement learning? And someone way smarter than me now is like, yeah. I'm like, sick. Okay, cool. Cool. This is fun. This is a cool paper. Very cool. What's a pirate's favorite programming language? R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R